I created a simple AI agent that works as my secondary brain. Whenever I come across any useful information, I simply share that information with this agent. This agent will remember the information forever. And whenever I need that information, I simply ask the agent to provide it. The agent will provide the exact same information which I asked for. The reason why I started this project is, I used to come across some useful information in LinkedIn, Twitter or in some other platform. But I don't have enough patience as well as time to take a paper and make a note of it. As a result, eventually I would lose that information or I would spend a lot of time scrolling my LinkedIn feed to find out that piece of information. But nowadays I'm not at all facing such issues as this agent helps me to remember everything. In this video, I'm going to show you how it works, what is the architecture behind this agent and how you can set up and run this project on your local machine. Let's begin. So this is my simple chat interface and this is where I used to interact with my agent. Now let me show you how you can share information with this agent and how you can ask for some information. Let's say I want the agent to remember my YouTube channel name as well as the link to my YouTube channel. Let me show you how you can share this information with the agent. It is very straightforward. Hey, this is my YouTube channel channel name which is learn with Vichu and here is the link okay that's it so now you can see it is saying your YouTube channel learn with Vichu has been successfully stored with the link so basically what happens is it takes the information and it converts it into embeddings and it will store it in vector database. So that is what happens begin the scene. Now let's refresh the page and let's see whether it is able to provide the information or not. Uh, how to ask the information that is also very straightforward. You can simply ask, okay, get me my YouTube channel link. Okay. So now what will happen is. The question will be converted into embeddings and that embedding will be used to retrieve the relevant documents from the vector database. So here you can see your YouTube channel link is learn with which if you click on that you will be redirected to that particular link. Right. So this is how you can store and retrieve information using this agent. Now let me show you how you can update some information. Let's say I want to update this information. So that is also very straightforward. Okay. I have changed my YouTube channel name. Now it is learn with Vishnu. Okay, that's it. Currently, your YouTube channel name is stored as learn with Vishnu. Would you like me to update it to learn with Vishnu and Keep the link the same. Yes. Your YouTube channel name has been updated to learn with Vishnu. Okay. So this is how you can update some information. Now, if you want to delete, that is also very straightforward. Hey, delete this information or delete my YouTube channel details so it will ask for confirmation so your youtube channel details are channel name learn with vishnu and link this is the link do you want to proceed with deleting this information yes okay there you go your youtube channel details have been successfully deleted now let's refresh this and let's ask for the same details can you get me my YouTube channel link? Let's see. There you go. This is how you can share information, retrieve information, update and delete information. Now let me show you the architecture behind this agent. So it is very simple. Okay. We have an agent with four different tools. Okay. 
if the agent wants to store some information it will use add information tool so begin the scene what happens is it will take the information it will convert that information into embeddings and it will store it in vector database in this case we are using chroma db and if the agent wants to retrieve some information it will use this retrieve information tool so here what will happen is the user query will be converted into embedding and that embedding will be used to retrieve the relevant documents from the vector database if the agent wants to delete some information it will use delete information tool begin the scene what will happen is first it will retrieve the data then it will ask the user okay should i delete this information upon confirmation it will simply delete it similarly update information so this is the simple architecture behind this agent now let me show you how you can set up and run this project on your local machine it's very simple so go to my github repository you can find the link to this github repository in the video description okay so once you are here you can either download this project as a zip file or if you have installed git in your uh, system you can use this git command to clone the project after cloning this project you have to do one thing which is add your api keys create a env file and add your api keys after that simply run docker compose up and it will make the application up just navigate to the uh, local host and there you can start interacting with your agent so that's it that's all i had for this video thank you guys thanks for watching